Hello everybody. These are beautiful words from Michael Jordan. Practice like you've never won. Play like you've never lost. I feel I'm really connected to this quote. I, Abhir Singh Gupta from PYP5 Virus, Mount Richter School International, will be presenting my journey in exhibition. Meditation. I feel we all should do meditation as it helps our mind, soul and body. How do you do meditation? Mom said the easiest way to do meditation is to sit down in peace, close our eyes, start focusing on our breathing and if any thoughts come, reject them and continue. If you do this, you will be able to enlighten your seven chakras that are the root chakra, the sacral chakra, the solar plex chakra, your heart chakra, the throat chakra, the third eye chakra and lastly the crown chakra. My logo. This is my logo and I feel it's really interesting because it shows the mindset of a sportsman and it shows how does the brain look on the field or off the field. My passion is to play sports and I connected it to good health and well-being. That's goal three. Why did I choose sports? I choose sports because I've been playing it since I was a small boy and my grandfather and mother were sportsmen. I've been playing a lot of inter-school competitions from them and I play a lot of sports. Why did I choose good health and well-being? I choose good health and well-being because if you are good at the sport or not, you need to have good health and well-being to be selected on a team because that's how you'll play sports. My unit information. My daily theme is how we express ourselves. My central idea is the study of sports may help the overall development of a human being. So before I started my unit, I had few questions in my mind. And these are few of my questions. These came under key concepts that helped me form my lines of inquiry. These are my lines of inquiry. First line of inquiry is types of sports that comes under the key concept form. Number two. Role of sports that came under the key concept function. Number three, technology that has changed sports that came under the key concept change. And lastly, responsibilities sports players have that comes under the key concept responsibility. My inquiry sec. So as I made my lines of inquiry, I had to do a whole routine to start my formatives. And this is my routine. These are the formative links. Yeah, I'm blessed to have expert meetings with these people. First person I met was Amir Andhavet, sir. He's an Indian professional soccer player. And he said that he does not play for fame, but he plays for having fun and to be fit. When I asked him how much would he compare himself to other players abroad, he said a seven. And that's great as nobody is best. Everybody needs to work hard to get better. The next person I met was Haryum Parmar sir. He said he played karate till 2018. Then he left it and started playing marathon and badminton. He said he went to the Asian Games and he had a lot of fame. Resources I used. Thanks to my parents for inspiring me and being with me all this time. Thanks to my mentor, Franco sir, for taking me till this uh, stage and thank you for him to be an idol thank you to miss chandrani for being a great co-mentor and helping me if i'm stuck thanks to newspaper articles for giving me information thanks to books for giving me information thanks to guest lectures for telling me how do they uh, become an athlete thanks to the internet for answering questions my Lono profile attributes. Thanks to MSI for helping me recognize these attributes from me. And since then, I have accomplished all these. Problem. So my problem, as I told you, my SCG is SG3, that is good health and well-being. The problem is self-realization when nobody realizes what's happening to their body. When people keep eating junk food, playing video games, becoming a bit unhealthy, not doing any movement, etc. The solution. The solution is to go for daily walks, exercising, doing a lot of movement, socializing, keeping a good diet, etc. So I made a creation 
out of le waste Lego pieces where I am racing my friends. These are my citations. Another wonderful quote by JJ Watt. Remember, your dreams are as hungry as your demons. Make sure you're feeding the right ones. That means you need to feed your dreams or passions rather than negativity. Thank you.